Hello guys, this is Dr. Ku Orofix. Today I'll be discussing with you a temporary solution on how to fix Volkswagen Jetta or Passat that the fan control module just failed. This is a common problem with uh, most uh, Volkswagen uh, newer model cars and uh, if you have that problem stick to my channel because I'm going to be giving you a solution briefly a temporary solution that's going to fix it for the main time. Uh, All right. And the reality there is that uh, if you don't notice that on time, it's gonna go ahead and blow up your top cylinder head gasket. Most of the time, top cylinder head gasket is too expensive, but replacing it is a heck of a lot of money. So, uh, I'm gonna be giving you a temporary solution which you're gonna be using to solve that problem for the meantime to get you to your destination before you start finding a lasting solution to it, which is gonna be uh, the code which you're gonna be getting if you plug your scan to is gonna be P0480. So if you have P0480, which is a fan uh, control circuit issue, related issue, any of those, then... In order for you to confirm this problem, that you actually have this problem, you suppose you don't have a scan to, what you need to do in order to confirm it is to first of all start your car, then turn on the AC system. If the fan didn't turn on, then you know you have the problem. And if you can see this right now, this engine is working very fine. Uh, look at it down here. The fan won't come on. Alright? Now, for obvious reasons, a lot of you guys, before you can be able to confirm this, the temperature gauge here, reading, hitting 200 or even above. And within that same spot there, maybe the oil, it could start flashing. And if it doesn't flash, I mean, if you don't start seeing it or clock in there, but it start hitting around 200 and above 240, then you know that you got a problem with that fan control module. Suppose you didn't connect any scanner to it. So, what you wanna do here is, you wanna locate the four wires to supply the fan. And it's gonna be right down there. So you find a pair of scissors, and go ahead, you're gonna find a yellow and purple wire right there. A tiny, that's the, the tiniest, smallest wire you're gonna find within the supplier that supplies the fan right there. So you go ahead and cut it. When you cut it, just wait for like 30 seconds or a minute, the fan should be able to turn on. So in this case, I'm gonna do it on this one here. And like I said, don't forget the color coding is yellow with purple trace. A stripe of purple, yellow, yellow wire with a purple trace. Uh, right, so let me go ahead here and disconnect and uh, show you briefly. And we start counting. In less than uh, one minute, this fan should turn on. You can see it right there. So at least this should be able to help you get you to your destination instead of burning the top cylinder head gasket. It's gonna be running at a fan, uh, full fan speed, full throttle. But no problem, that's gonna be better than uh, for it not running at all and burning your top cylinder head gasket. I'm gonna reconnect it back so it will stop. Then another second uh, option which you're gonna use to know if this fan has a problem is you wanna turn on your AC system. If you turn on your AC system and still this fan doesn't come on, then you know that the control module has a problem. You wanna go ahead and cut the yellow wire with a purple trace on it and it should get the fan started. So guys, uh, good luck now that you know how to Create a temporary solution to your fan. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Gotta catch you guys later. Bye for now.